my worldview, well, I, I am a great believer in human liberty. I think uh, the, the uh, genius of the American experiment is a respect for the dignity of the individual. And um, that's why I'm opposed to uh, trade restrictions. Uh, I'm opposed to most immigration restrictions. I think human beings are human beings, and uh, and that they ha deserve the dignity of, of freedom, and that's a worldwide phenomenon. I must say that in the 30 years the Cato Institute has existed, and I'm not saying we deserve credit for it, but uh, the extension of human freedom has been remarkable. I mean, hundreds of millions of people are freer today, more prosperous today. Uh, because of the recognition that markets work, uh, uh, the expansion of trade, the um, uh, recognition of the importance of private property, uh, those are great things, and I, I, I view them as universal. I mean, the Cato Institute is actively uh, involved in promoting these ideas in, uh, in the Middle East, in uh, Russia, in Latin America, uh, China. Um, so we held the first conferences devoted to freedom in the history of communist China and in the history of the Soviet Union. Uh, we went to China in 1988 and uh, we brought uh, Milton Friedman there and Milton was treated like a rock star. Uh, it was very exciting. And then uh, two years later we were in Moscow and uh, and had the first conference there devoted to, to political and economic freedom. And uh, so I'm very proud of the Cato Institute's uh, orientation. It's not simply parochial. I mean, we are around the world trying to promote the concept of the dignity of the individual. Well, um, you know, the, the basic kind of classical Rothbardian approach to libertarianism is, is uh, uh, that uh, you can't have, uh, and this is a Randian, Ayn Rand's approach too, the initiation of force is wrong, that people should be able to do whatever they want to do as long as they're not uh, harming other people in doing so, whether through fraud or physical violence or uh, theft or uh, whatever. Uh, so that you want the maximum amount of individual liberty. But, you know, it's interesting. Um, it, it, it's not all clear-cut. In theory, from a purely right standpoint, what Michael Vick did with these dogs was didn't, didn't uh, offend anyone's personal rights. But I think, as a libertarian, and maybe I'm... I'm uh, I'm getting in trouble with my colleagues, but I, th I think that uh, 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 in a free society that you should be able to say, you know, you can't torture animals, and that's going to be a crime. And it doesn't fit in neatly with a libertarian theory of rights, but I think it's, that's the way it should be. Of course, I love dogs, so. <laughs> well, I think the, the proper role of the, the government is the protection of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which is what the Declaration of Independence uh, said. I mean, that's a very, very uh, radical concept that government should be limited uh, to protecting your right to live your life as, as you uh, choose. Um, I also think, you know, the phrase, the pursuit of happiness is uniquely American. I mean, it is saying that life is a good thing and that you should be uh, able to enjoy it. And, and happiness is not saying you should go to a party every night. It's saying you should be able to pursue your values and, and uh, your goals in life. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's a reasonable uh, goal for government. Uh, I, you know, obviously, uh, uh, clean air and water, you shouldn't be able to pollute what the, the average citizen has to uh, deal with. Uh, those are legitimate functions of government.